Hey, welcome back. We're back to cleaning up the blood and guts that I'm assuming I created earlier when I was playing Shadow Warrior alone. <laughs> yes. And by assuming, I mean I must be because this is the first level of Shadow Warrior. Oh, it is? Yeah. Nice. Funny game in its own. Is it? Yes, it is. I like a good humor. Too. It is funny and it is very fun. It involves swords and killing demons and a lot of, you know, all these. Did you say this was probably the same game that uh, was made by Serious Sam, guys? Probably, maybe. You speculate? Not the cleanup crew thing? No, 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 this. But yeah, game. this game, I'm pretty sure it is. I forget the name of the company that makes it, but yeah. Oh. I think they made Serious Sam. Oh, that's cool. Because I love Serious Sam. I haven't played those since I was a, yeah. a wee lad. Actually, I don't even know when they made them, so I probably wasn't that young, but or that old, rather. Wait, either way. No, you... Well, what are you talking about? Do you think you probably weren't that young or weren't that old? I don't think I was that old, Right. but I'm not that old now. They're old. I mean, they, they were made a long time ago. The first Serious Sam? Yeah. Really? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I think I had the first one for some kind of Xbox or something. I don't remember. Yeah, I had one for some kind of Xbox. I was trying to figure that, that out the other day. It was like when I uh, got an Xbox yeah. and started playing online and stuff. Because before I had an Xbox, I used to play um, Unreal Tournament uh, online on on my computer. In your imagination? On or? my computer. <laughs> That was the first online game I ever had. I ever, like, you know, played. The yeah. first game I ever played online was a game that I didn't know. It was probably way older than me. Yeah. It was Unreal Tournament Game of the Year Edition. I think it was 1999. Was when it came out. Shit. When I played it, it was probably 2000. Fuck, how old was I? How old was I? Eight? Fuck, no way. Maybe. It might have been that long ago. <laughs> Oh, now the internet knows how old you are. I'm 22. That's okay, all of our followers know us anyway. Yeah. <laughs> all right, settle down. I'm pretty sure that was, uh, that I played it, like, 2000, 2001 or something. Ah, oh, you fuck. Oh, no. Anyway, John and I were talking about, um... Mr. Stanhope. Stanhope? <laughs> Doug. Is that his name? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I was, I was saying that <laughs> last night, um, or maybe not last night, depending on when you watch this, uh, it was, it was one of the live ones. Oh. Does Norm actually film live, or is that bullshit? Does he have yeah. a live podcast? I'm pretty sure you can watch Norm live. Yeah? Just like you could watch Doug live last night. He does these things at Largo. I'm not putting my hand in there Fuck again. You. Which is a place in uh, California. Yeah. I guess you can... Um, he just goes there and it, it's uh, like... What is he? Getting Doug with high. Yeah. Right? So they have... Um, they're all sitting on stage and, and people bring out those bags. Have you seen those bags? Like big bags of... I think they're, it's like vaporizer. Stuff. Oh, yeah. They fill up a bag with the it. The vape bags? And then they just hand them the bags, and they're, you know, sucking on the I bag. I have seen those. Um, Cause they, they can't smoke uh, on stage, probably. But he does, when he does his podcast, he does uh, he does actually smoke. Okay. Yeah, because we were talking about the Norm MacDonald show. Yes. That is quite funny. Todd Glass. It's comedians talking about comedians. With comedians. That makes sense. And Adam Egan. <laughs> yes. That douchebag. That douchebag. Who I feel bad for every single time. You have to watch the second part of the Todd Glass one because it gets so much worse. <laughs> it's really bad. But unlike unlike watching, um, say, Ricky Gervais and actually feeling bad for Carl Pilkington, I don't... I think Adam Egan's just along with it. I don't think... You might feel bad for him in this one. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> To, to be saying the shit, like, I don't think Norm understands, because he's old and stuff, about the internet. <laughs> like, I don't know if he's putting on, like, a facade, if I, I may. I think he is. I think he is, too. But if he knew, 
what he was like getting Adam into. Adam's, I think he knows, and he's just like devastated the whole time. Norm's like shitting on him for a very specific thing, ah, because it's really bad. He, he if you if you read the comments in that of that video, I'm sure they're all about Adam being a terrible person. And Norm is fucking with him the whole time, pretty is much. Is he a terrible person? No, he's not. I Jesus, he seems a nice guy to me. Progress. They made all those jokes about him being like a recovering alcoholic too, so I don't know if like. But yeah, that's that's true, Probably right? It's gotta true. be true. Yeah. In the amount that Norm fucks with him, like, I wonder if he. I don't know. It's weird to me. I think. Oh, it's so pointy. He always dresses so nicely. He always wears the suit. Yeah. I could never do that. I mean, what's that? Fuck with someone so hard. <laughs> yeah, like even if it was I a joke, I could, yeah, I couldn't do that. That's like be that mean. God, oh, man, I'm a good kind state. of an asshole. Sometimes. Yeah, but I mean, when like, it's appropriate. I I didn't think it was. I think Norm. I don't. I don't think he understands completely what how much shit uh, Adam's gonna like. I have to deal with. I'm definitely gonna watch that. But I could, I could be wrong. Uh, it was really good. I really liked it. Okay, looks like we cleaned up this little corner. This little bucket. <laughs> I'd just trash the bucket and get a new wall. You don't know if it's gonna spit out guts on you, right? Right. That's a thing. In this game, the, uh... The receptacle dispensers also dispense guts and stuff sometimes. Viscera? Yeah, whatever. If you will. Now it's just an expensive paperweight. He said that about every single thing you picked up from like yeah, to get out of here. I realized you can tap the button again to make center it center it or whatever, or like a easily. level. Yeah, probably for, for best or worst placing into a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> nice. He can't carry two pieces of glass at once. That, he's really not carrying anything. He's, <laughs> just, he's, he's got some floor. kind of. Oh god! You're lucky that glass doesn't break more. Can you imagine? Yeah, that would suck. Ow, that shot! Oh, you know what I got? Um, totally forgot. Not herpes. Oh, okay. Um, chlamydia. Well, besides yeah. chlamydia. Ah. Um, one of those Batman games. What Batman? Uh, the Arkham, is it the Batman Arkham Origins, I think, oh. I got? It's the newest one. Wow. It's on sale? In the Steam Summer Sale? Pretty fun. Yeah? Yeah. I, I, I played, uh... Arkham Asylum, the yeah, first one. the one there. Mm -hmm. I don't think I loved that one. I played a little bit of it, and I was like, what the fuck is this shit? But love is a strong word. I don't think I felt that way about it either. Yeah. I wish I had an accent. I think if we had accents, people would like us more. Yeah, probably. Yeah. We could put on a false one. We could? A pseudo accent. But I'm really people. bad at accents, first of all. Oh, God. It's you just walk through here. all the blood. Don't do that. It's hard about the language. Um. Yeah, first of all, uh, I'm not good at accents. Second of all,. I don't think I have a second of all. Hey, nice shoot. Oh, is there a head? Uh, uh, I guess yeah, I head. do feel lucky. Punk. Up on the, t the top of that. Oh. oh, no, not that one. To your right? Up there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, nailed it. Don't one. go losing your head. Uh, it's a quality joke. Good one. <laughs> oh, this torso is going to just put us over the limit. The torso looks like it was It's from um, that movie. Where's my new bucket? What's the movie? Did I bring a bucket with me? No. Yes? Kung Pao? Enter the fist? I don't know. Was there a torso in that movie? Well, he punches a hole, like a perfect hole, through some guy's uh, 
torso. And he's like, oh, how is the narrator? He goes like, how is that even possible? You'd think there'd be a bunch of organs and other things. It was, it's a funny joke if you watch that movie again. Because if you look at that torso, it's just blood and spine. There's no organs. It's, it's kind of like that. Ah, he punches like a, just a perfect whole circle through a guy. It's a joke. Jokes. <laughs> Guess you have to do it. Well, you've seen the movie. Probably a while ago though, right? Yeah, whenever we watched it. Four summers ago. No, it was probably me. last summer. It might have been. Okay. We should do that again. Yeah, we could. Well, whenever we watch movies when we're drunk, it, we don't actually watch them anyway, so... That's a perfect movie to not actually watch. Especially if you're more than halfway through and have no idea what's going on. It's Ooh. fine in that movie because no one does. What I are you just cleaned up that room like it was my job. <sighs> what are you going to Vegas? I am going to be there... Um, on the July 4th. Oh, really? Yeah. That's soon. Yeah, it is. All right, cool. Hey, if anyone's going to be in the Vegas area around July 4th, come find me. I'll be the fucking awesome one. <laughs> Is that where you're staying? Yes. Where? I'll be the one staying in Treasure Island. Where's that? It's Vegas Boulevard. Oh, no. Oh, there's buckets in here. Sweet. Good. I'm just gonna leave that one there. Should I leave that there? Come back for it later? Yes. I oh. that ball though. Are you still still thinking you're gonna make a computer after Vegas? Yeah. Awesome. I'm hoping to to um Well the money the money. The money I'm taking with me. Yeah. To go to Las Vegas. Yes. Is the money that I plan on buying the computer with. Alright, perfect. So I'm gonna spend hey, buddy. it. Yeah. You but don't look so good. If I can come back with more money than I left with, then then we don't have a problem. We have no problem. They've had some pretty good sales recently in the, the new link. They're pretty good, I mean, you know, wildly mediocre, but mm. still pretty good. That doesn't make any sense. They were uh, okay sales. I was propositioned for a job recently. Yeah? A woman at the... Uh, local watering hole, if I may. Yeah. Uh, the owner of the local watering hole, actually. TJ's? Yeah. Um, she, her son wants to build a computer. Oh, yeah? He wants to spend about, like, 1200 bucks on it. But yeah, she, she doesn't want him to do it because she, he's 14. Oh, she, she, does, she doesn't think he knows how to do it. And I, honestly, I have faith in the kid. I figured he's done his research. He knows how to put together a computer. It's not that hard. But she wants me to help him out anyway. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Does he have his parts? No, not yet. Oh, okay. He's going to buy them. But she was... Does he know what you want? That's the thing. You know, I'm sure he knows. I'm probably sure 14 years old. No, he does know what he probably wants. Probably knows better than I did. He does know what he wants. I don't know what he wants. I hate that thing. <laughs> Is she gonna pay you to help to help her kid? Yeah, she said she'd pay me. Nice. But um, what's your kid do that he's fourteen and he has twelve hundred bucks laying around? He just. I guess he never spends his money. He just has like birthday and Christmas Damn, money dude. from forever. Figured out how to write the buckets. That's I'm, cool. Yeah. So not good at saving money. Can I have one of the beers? Yeah. Can you grab me one? Yeah. I've never been good at saving money. No, I'm not very good at saving money either. But I, oh. I did. So that's cool. Yeah. I think working on tips just works for the way that I want to spend money. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, I'll spend a little bit of money today, and then I'll put the rest away, and then I'll have it. I don't need to spend any more, because I'll make more money. If I got, like, 
cast. I think I might be better at it. Oh yeah, I can't do that kind of thing. Cause all my money goes right into the bank, so I'm just like, I have unlimited money. <laughs> it's not true oh, at all. I don't even need enough. I have less than that. How many beds do I have? Oh, this is the second one. That's good, cause it's like almost full. I thought I was being lame right now. This is disgusting. Uh, is that a dick? dick? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I think that looks like a large intestine. Yes, Guess he was an organ donor. <laughs> he kills him. First he says, well, that's disgusting, and then he just starts picking up other ones. He's like, ah, it's not so bad. I gotta show you the actual game. Yeah. After well, this. Well, well, well. I just beat the first level and then I was like, this game's great, and I went to work. So. <laughs> what the hell is that? Bad thing about those things is like I just smoke it and smoke it and. Smoke Oh, what's wrong with that? Still better than my decor. I know, and they're so great. John has this new vaporizer thingy, and it's fun. They are fun. Also, it'll charge your phone. <laughs> Which is what I look for uh, <laughs> in anything I buy, really. Too bad it's broken. That's great, that's great. Thank you. Uh, this coffee maker looks amazing. <laughs> Will it charge my phone? No? No sale. You know what it Throw actually it has, too? It makes coffee? No, <laughs> no it's got the pass-through. While it's charging, you can charge your phone. Oh, so it, it does God. do both uh, at the same time. It's a pretty quality piece of technology. I don't understand what that's showing you. What does it say on the side? It says something weird. MacGyver? It's like MacGyver though. Mac. Thing. Mac? Probably because MacGyver is a, a name you can't use. Uh. Oh, oh yeah, it's freaking out. Okay. Because there's a lot of viscera right here. All right, let's not spill this on the way to the fire. I did find another fire. Did you, just ha did you happen to see that? I didn't, because these rooms look identical, so I can't really... There it is. Because there's that guy right there. Yeah, you did. You did again. I definitely didn't do that in the game, so... It'd be cool if the game... Like, the game is based off of, and this part of it, like, dynamic, where, like, the amount of people and like where their body parts were are based on how you killed them in the game. Do I think that'd be cool? Uh, okay. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, but you know it's not even cool. The fact you don't have a bucket. This is the dirtiest mop I've ever seen in my life. Hey, don't don't you even this my friend isn't helping. Uh, got amnesia the other day when it was on sale. Yeah. And he was playing with his girlfriend. <laughs> and he said, like, 15 minutes in, she got so scared they had to turn it off. <laughs> and I was like, oh, cool, so she's just like me. <laughs> Except John's playing, so I can't really tell him to turn it off, you know. Nah, that shit don't fly. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to play the first one though because I think it's going to be a lot scarier and it's going to be a lot better footage wise because I'm, I'm such a little bitch. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to going to be a lot better story wise though. I really like that machine for pig steel. I actually have no idea what this one's about. I think 
whatever I saw in like a let's play or the demo of that of um, the Dark Descent, I thought it sounded a lot like. Um, you ever read uh, hey. Edgar Allan Poe's The Cask of Amontillado? Amontillado. Yeah, is that how you say it? I thought there was a G in there somewhere. No, there's no G. No G? What the yes. hell was really going on? I thought it was um similar to that for some reason. Uh, like, dude, I have some like dope wine that's right here in my basement. Yeah, right? So like, that's, okay. That's kinda what the dark descent's like. It's like you gotta get to the basement. There's some guy down there you gotta kill. That's like that's not, not a spoiler, that's like the beginning of the game. It sounds like a different Edgar Allan Poe story. Really? Which one? The Telltale Scroto. <laughs> when he tries to go to bed, he hears a nutsack slapping against <laughs> his, uh, fucking... Yes. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that chamber door. So you read it? That's a raven, isn't it? <laughs> I hear a nutsack rapping at my chamber door. <laughs> Tis a nutsack, said I. Only this and nothing more. <laughs> So that's a uh, crap in your bitch. <laughs> yes. God, there's a lot of this right in here. We should redo Edgar Allan Poe thing. We could write the, the poem called The Nutsack. Profane. <laughs> like, just. These kids with their gun. People do that. Naughty words. People are. Do they do that? Oh, people do that with zombies and stuff, you know? Like Shakespeare and zombies, or yeah. Pride and Prejudice and zombies. Right. But mm. Edgar Allan Poe and the and, Naughty Words. And cussing. Or just to make it funnier. Yeah, because Edgar Allan Poe is not funny enough. This is a good idea. I don't think we should air this one. Because <laughs> someone else will do it. Yeah, there. somebody else will do it, and I'll be pissed off. Because we didn't. Just like I said, a nutsack, whatever, and it's, it's the raven, but it's not the raven. It's the dick balls, or, uh, the ball sack. Alright, just cut that part out, then. Done and done. Hey, welcome back, everyone. <laughs> Sorry for the, uh... We had a really good idea that we break. don't want you to steal from us, Yes, because so. no one trusts the internet. That's gonna... Because we're honest. Yeah. Wait. We, sure. We are. Yeah. That works. I need a bucket up here, stat. I wanna listen to some DMX. Why? I just got a song stuck in my head for some reason. I think it's X gonna give it to me for what's happening in my brain. I'm gonna burn this bucket. Burn it. You're gonna burn the water. Yeah. <laughs> The blood water. Alright, give me. Be nice. Oh no, I don't want one of those. I want one of the other ones. Where are they? Alright, I should start burning these. Oh my Nowhere. god. I feel like you're just. Oh no. Feel like running through a lot of blood. Yeah, cause it's everywhere. I need another cleanup bucket. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, this one's not that bad. Oh, my back. This back hurts. Ugh. My fingers hurt. My fingers hurt. I think almost gone. Oh my god, I can see. Hmm. What are you doing here? more in my car. I bought a 20 mil bottle. That's, wow. That's like amazing. Yeah. It was only six bucks. Really? Yeah. This is a pretty good flavor too. Yeah. Hawaiian rainbow and shit. <laughs> tastes like a Hawaiian bunch. Yeah. That's what I figured. Like. You know there's another store in Salem that sells stuff like this? No. There is. Yeah, and it looks like a better store. Yeah. It was farther down. You know how if you're going down in that place where you usually go to is near Taco Bell on the right-hand side? Yes. If you keep going, 
There's more. I think he's across the street. Uh, across the street from the liquor store. Huh. I'll have to check it out. Just saying. I'll be right back. Jesse's gonna look. He. I'll be here. Don't go anywhere. Gotta oh, clean up the viscera. I get blood on the ceiling. Uh. I just dumped the entire bucket twice. You dropped it? They will just keep producing blood. No, they actually don't. They don't? No, if, if you pick them up nice and clean and put them in the bucket. Come on. That looks like a stomach. Okay. A really weird looking stomach. Looks really nice for uh, what it is. Oh, what is that? There's limbs inside the fire. Did you watch the new Let's Drown Out? What was it? It was Gabe playing a bunch of fighting games. No. I didn't watch it. I, I watched it, but like I just put it in the screen while I played Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's alright. I think they mentioned some pretty funny stuff. Did you see anything? Yeah. Oh, you said it was just Gabe. Well, Gabe was the only one playing. It was a pre-recorded thing. Gabe played like three or four different fighting games and beat them. Uh... But the th I think they talked about some good stuff. I don't really remember. Overall kind of memorable, but not terrible. They were talking about some video game stuff that happened. Yeah. That's Good video games. Nice. You know that game Fez? Yeah. That you played and you liked it a lot? Yeah. I guess the uh, creator started like getting pissed off at people that play games on YouTube and stuff. Like do let's plays. Oh really? Especially of his game, they're saying that people that make let's plays of Fez owe him money. Oh. Well, uh, they now I paid feel him, sick. didn't they? For the game, yeah. yeah. I, I, it was weird. I don't really understand where he was coming from, but uh, you know. they talked about that for a little while. I read that on Game Informer, I think, and I was like. 
that's not the easy thing to talk about, but like, when you were beaten. I don't like talking about stuff that's controversial, I guess. You know what I mean? It, it's just kind of a bummer. It's like a guy that can make a great game. Like, why, why would you be such a dick about people playing it and showing it off on the internet? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> I think my, uh, shit went crazy. Yeah. The game is really good. The guy must have made a shitload of money on it too, so I don't really understand what his problem is. Some people have problems. I bought it because I watched somebody play it. You know what I mean? It was like... Yeah. If I had never done that, then I would never have bought a stupid game, so... Not a stupid game, it made a good game. So get over it, For being a dick. Well, me or the guy? The guy? Yeah, the guy should go. Okay, I'm putting this right in the fire. <laughs> I think it's something about him not making a second one. Like, people wanted him to make a Fez 2, but he wouldn't do it. Ooh. I don't really know what's happening. Because he's a D-bag? There was a reason. I, I don't really remember. I should probably research ah. things more before I talk about them. Ah, I'll research it for students. You know. Share in the comments if you no, give a shit. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Research things. I do. <laughs> Ooh, ninja but style. Ha, yeah. Not specifically these things. I don't research anything. <gasps> I've oh. never done research in my life. Ever? Ever. Is not a one. No pain. All I know is how to clean up bloody things. I don't understand why, why people that are about to do some like ninja fighting with swords and shit dress up nicely. Well, you gotta look good. Like that good though? Yeah. <laughs> that guy had like a, a uh, what do they call it? Like a tie clip thing. A clip on? No, he had like a clip on his tie. I think they use them like to keep the tie against your well, shirt instead well, of it well. flailing about. Yeah. And that's just too nice for a ninja star fight? It's too nice yeah. for most occasions, I think. Although, very practical, because, I mean, I don't know why healthcare professionals are supposed to wear ties. Because I work in a pharmacy, whenever I go to wash my hands, the tie gets in there. Yeah, I mean, okay. it's... It's just flailing around like it's nobody's business. When I, you know, go to the bathroom at work, it's just like, hey, oh, yeah, I'm on the way. Not to pull out my tie, but I don't like ties. Have I made that point yet? I don't really see what the big deal is with ties either. I don't, I don't really get how they came. I mean, I guess they being. look kind of cool against the shirt that matches. I don't know. I think they came into being as doctors needing to wipe their hands on something. Do you? I think that's a, a fact. I get that. No. Well, not anymore because that's completely unsanitary, but back in the day when they used to do terrible things to people. Oh, uh, yeah. I need a viscera bucket up here. Oh, why is this a thing? That's now? the other room, isn't it? Oh, did I already clean it up? Mm-hmm. No, up here, though? Did I clean up up here? All the way? All the way around? Yeah. Oh. Good for me, then. Anyway, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how ties came into being. This got cleaned. I just need to clean this up a little bit. Then they were like, oh, yeah, people should wear them. Uh, you know, when they're in a pharmacy. Like, I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> and by people, I mean men, because, uh... Why they make so much mess? There's that subject, too. That women shouldn't wear ties? Not even that, just like, I don't know. They can literally wear whatever they want in the pharmacy, pretty much, wherever they want. Oh. 
And I have to wear a shirt and tie. Just saying. I'm some I'm sure some women's rights person would all be all over me for that kind of thing. For some reason. I don't really know why. I think they'd get over it. And it's like I don't like wearing ties. You shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> to wear a bow tie? Yeah. There's gotta be something hanging around my neck. <laughs> so. Not really for the bow tie. I'm not a huge fan of it. I'd wear one if I had one and knew how to tie it. Yeah, what's up with that? I have no fucking clue. You ever see an untied bow tie? It's Dude, all like, weird! It's all different shapes and stuff. Yeah. And I see, look. barely know how to tie a tie. Oh, I can tie a shit. Tie. I can tie a shitty tie knot. That's what I can do. I can't tie the shit out of it, but I can tie a shit. I get it. No, you know. Why am I making blood footprints right now? And I do, and I refuse to learn any other way of tying a tie. So yeah, I'll do it the Why one way I, I know how. Bloody footprint. Was there a blood stain on the wall uh, behind you? And to your right. That one. Ah. <laughs> Took care of that. <laughs> Nailed it. Alright, now what's this thing? That's how ah. Ah. What was that? Um, I'm back. I got a throat tickle. Fuck! Oh, um... It might be episode time. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, um, you know, this thing's almost... clean. If this is the last room? <laughs> Do you even know that? I don't think this is the last room. Ah. Good. Oh, it's not oh, good right. way to end it. Alright. On a... I'll see you next time, yeah. everyone. Bye-bye.